Hi Tejas. Hi Deeple. Hello friends, I'm Tejas. Welcome to Tejas Tejas Networking Channel. In this video, we will learn OSPF equal cost load balancing. Enjoy this video and keep watching. Thank you. Tejas, on last video, you taught me about the OSPF unequal cost load balancing. Can you teach me OSPF equal cost load balancing also? Sure, Deeple. I must suggest you must see my OSPF unequal cost load balancing video one more time. So that your concept will more clear. Okay. See in this diagram R1 has 5 path to reach R7. And all the connected interfaces are fast Ethernet. I will show you the configuration part directly so that your concept is more clear. Okay. I already configure the IP address of all the devices. Now I will start OSPF configuration. I will start with R1. Now R2. Now R3. R4 R5 R6 R7 
Okay so you had configured the OSPF in all the routers. Yes now I will verify. See currently it is by default load balancing in OSPF start, because all the connected interfaces are fast Ethernet. Ping is also reachable from R1 to R7. But one thing you should notice it show only 4 path from R1 to R7 because by default OSPF support only 4 path. You can increase the path up to 16 in OSPF. So in our scenario total path is 5. So we will go in OSPF configuration on R1 and use only one command. Maximum path 5. Because we have 5 path from R1 to R7 we can increase as per our requirement. Same we will do in R7 also. Now we will verify it. See now it is showing 5 path from R1 to R7. Ping is also reachable from R1 to R7. Same we will verify in R7 also. See here also showing 5 path from R7 to R1. Ping is also reachable from R7 to R1. See in this OSPF use round robin load balancing method. One packet goes to via R2. Second packet goes to via R3. Third packet goes to via R4. Fourth packet goes to via R5. And fifth packet goes to via R6. See this is how OSPF equal cost load balancing works. Tejas my OSPF equal cost load balancing concept is clear. Thank you.